Welcome back. Like many organizations, Fax Niagara was forced to quickly adapt to the new realities, offering service during a pandemic last March. A year in now, we visit with Michelle Bernard, Director of Residential Service at Fax, to reflect on the past 12 months. Michelle, thanks for joining us. Thank you for having me, Mike. I appreciate it. Very quickly, you had to learn new ways of offering the services that Fax is known for. How did you do that? We've always been an organization that has been able to um, pivot and respond to the needs of our community. So I think our experience in the past has really helped us over the past year. Um, I think we look for opportunities to be creative and to make adjustments to continue to pr provide the essential service that we provide in the Niagara region. One of the things that we did uh, quite quickly was in our family counseling center is we immediately went to online offering uh, counseling services online. So since March of last year, we were able to schedule 6,100 uh, counseling sessions using that online platform, which was something that we weren't doing uh, previous to the pandemic. So that's just one example of something that we did uh, to, to respond to the uh, COVID-19 pandemic. As director of residential services, how did it affect your particular role in fact? Yeah. I think I'm very fortunate that I have uh, 150 foster families in the Niagara region that support children requiring residential service. Our foster parents have just been extremely um, adaptable and helpful during the pandemic, ensuring that uh, the children and youth who require residential service continue to receive what they need. One of the, one of the things that we had to adapt to rel relatively quickly was the loss of our volunteer services. Um, so we relied quite heavily on a very um, impactful volunteer department, but because we wanted to limit uh, contact tracing and limit the amount of people interacting with children and families, uh, we placed our volunteer service on hold. And so that was a big adjustment for us and we missed them tremendously. We just cannot wait to have our volunteers back. Did you find that there was an increased call for service, increased call for counseling? One of the things that we noticed at quite uh, quite quickly is that um, our referral sources are usually um, community organizations such as school boards or you know educational personnel, the Niagara Regional Police or police services. And what we noticed was a lot of families in our community were, reach were reaching out to us for support themselves. And so they became almost one of our top uh, third referral uh, source, just asking for information. Um, they were looking for supports in the community for organizations who um, maybe had to scale back their service. And so we, um, we noticed that big change. In terms of um, calls that come into our um, first response uh, team, I would say that we've noticed a decrease in uh, community calls, but the service that um, is still required is still impactful and still needed quite, uh, quite readily. So although the calls might have decreased, the needs definitely did not in our community. As we sort of see the end of this pandemic affecting us in the way it has been for the last year, mm -hmm. what do you look forward to being able to get back to? You know, I think for um, everybody at Fax Niagara, I think we are all looking forward to just really getting back uh, together. Um, you know, six feet apart and doing our work uh, in the community hasn't changed. We never shut our doors. We continue to provide the essential service to our community, meet with families, um, et cetera. But we've done our work differently with each other. So once where we could have a conference um, internally and have six people in a meeting room or hold a board um, meeting, we've had, to do, we've had to adjust and do that virtually. So I'm looking forward to actually just being in the same room with the, the individuals who are providing the service. 